Hey there, I'm Tim. Digital camera sensors are pretty complex things. Today, I want to take a look at some of our most interesting. The Exmor R sensor, found on the new WX1 Cybershot and TX1 Cybershot, in addition to a couple of Sony's Handycam models. This is Learn TV. <laughs> While there are different types of imaging sensors that are used on modern cameras, most of them work in pretty much the same way. So each individual pixel that gets recorded in your photograph is created by using photosites. Those photosites are just like light sensors and they're monochromatic, which means that they can only record brightness levels, they can't actually record colours. In order to capture colours, you need red, green and blue filters in front of multiple photo sites. There are two main types of sensors that you'll come across, CCD and CMOS. Each one has benefits and disadvantages. However, it's becoming increasingly common now to see CMOS sensors in both compact cameras, digital SLRs, and of course, Handycam models as well. The benefit of a CMOS sensor is that unlike a CCD, data can be read very, very quickly off the sensor. So that opens the way for features like much higher resolution movie recording. So the high definition movie recording that we have on Sony Handycams, for example. It also allows cameras to capture images more quickly. For example, a still camera like the WX1 here can capture up to 10 frames a second at the full resolution of the camera. In addition, there are other benefits that you get out of a CMOS sensor. For example, because they are very quick, cameras like the TX1 and the WX1 both have the ability to capture images using something called sweep panorama. Sweep panorama allows you to pan the camera around in a circle and capture everything that you see in front of you. On a camera like the WX1, that allows you to capture a single image that has a 256 degree view. And it does this by capturing multiple images one after another and then digitally stitching them together in the camera. Now that was a feature that we actually introduced previously on the DSC HX1, which is one of our high zoom models. That uses a conventional XMOR CMOS sensor. What is unique about the WX1 and the TX1, however, is that they are the first cyber shots to feature the XMOR R sensor. So the way an imaging sensor works is the light passes through the lens and it hits the sensor. And on the sensor you have these red, green and blue filters. Light passes through those and hits the light sensors or the photo sites behind them. The thing is though, when they hit the light sensors, that data then needs to be converted into some sort of electronic signal which needs to be sent off to the image processor in order that it can be written onto your memory card as an eventual digital photograph. So there needs to be some circuitry to go from a photo site that's say in the middle of the sensor through to the image processing. So they have the circuitry that lies over the top of the sensor. And that's the traditional way that they've built CMOS sensors. Now this allows you to transmit the data from one of these pixels or one of these photo sites in the middle of the sensor off to the image processing now that system works reasonably well, except when you get to very, very small sensors, like the ones found in these new cameras. So if you've got a really small sensor, all of this wiring gets in the way of the light that is actually trying to pass through. So what Sony have done, which is very clever with the XMOR R sensor, is they've taken that wiring and they've put it in behind the sensor. Now the obvious benefit of this is that you're no longer blocking that transmission of light. So only have come up with a really clever way of manufacturing these sensors that has allowed us to create XMOR R sensors for these new compact cameras as well as our Handycam models. And what it effectively means is twice the sensitivity on the sensor itself compared to a conventional camera. That means when you're taking photos in low light conditions, you can still capture them without having to worry about the flash. Or you're not going to have to worry about that graininess, what's called picture noise, appearing in your photographs so much because you're having a more sensitive capture. 
It's particularly relevant when you've got a camera like this one, okay, the TX1, because it has such a small lens and such a compact body. This body is only 15 millimeters deep, so it's an extremely slim camera, but at the same time, it can capture exceptionally good photographs. We're really excited about both of these new cameras, and of course, the new Exmor RC MOS sensor, which offers a huge improvement in image quality, particularly for nice compact pocket-sized cameras. We'll see you next time on Learn TV.